Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make your edge detect rock looking shapes go from this to this. And basically, let's uh, just jump right into it. If you've been watching my videos lately, you know that I almost always use this technique when making some rocky shapes. And it's just a bunch of squares uh, put up in uh, random size as you can see and random rotations, random positions, random even mass colors and whatnot. And we put them into distance on a really high distance like 2.5k. You can do probably less but I like 2.5k. I don't know, it's, it's my kind of deal. So after that you kind of put it into a directional warp with crystal one node and just just to make the edges a little bit um, more rocky like you know and after that uh, you usually do edge detect and go into bevel and whatnot but today we're not gonna be doing that we're gonna be doing a bit of a better edge detect solution so we're gonna have two edge detects and one is gonna have width two and the other is gonna have width three and we're gonna blend them together using a mask and that mask is gonna be a Gaussian noise and we just kind of clamped up the levels of it a little bit nothing special here and as you can see we have that varied look here somewhere it's thicker somewhere it's thinner and that's what we are looking for here and basically after that we're just gonna go into a blur grayscale and you need to make sure that this blur is not a high one so if you do a higher intensity blur it you will lose a lot of details so don't do it just do a little bit of a just a little bit of a blur so you kind of smooth out these rough um, edges here as you can see how they are smooth here and then we go into levels and we clamp them again and as you can see we have beautiful looking cracks in these rocks the, you can use this as a rock foundation you can use this as a map in general and it just looks amazing so that's it guys i hope you liked the video and see you later guys if you like this tutorial and would like to learn more about material creating in substance designer consider checking out my skillshare course down in the description it is your go-to place to start learning more in depth about creating materials inside substance designer and is also amazing for beginners that want to hop right into material creation also if you use my link in the description you get to watch the entire course entirely for free